what's good? This is your girl. I am the Bronze Goddess, and it's time for another Strawberry Letter. Let's go get them. I'm a 28-year-old female with a college degree, and I just started a job in my career about six months ago. Uh, exactly one year ago, my boyfriend of five years sat me down and told me one, that he had a one-night stand with a girl that recently contacted him and told him that he had a child that was two days old. I didn't know how to get through it, but I have, and it was very hard. The baby's mother was actually married and did not know who was the father of her child. After two paternity tests, it was found out that the child was my boyfriend. Friends. I decided to stay with him, which was has been really hard trying to get over the disrespect that he did to our relationship. He says we'll get married soon, but I still have my doubts because I can't get over this child. Uh, the child had a birthday party and he asked me, uh, could he go? Which I said, fine, because I don't want to keep a father from his child. Later that day, the baby's mother's cousin, baby's mother's cousin, <laughs> Uh, posted pictures of my boyfriend and the child and the baby's mother all together on Instagram, posing like one big happy family. On Instagram, straight flex and woo. Uh, anyway, it brought me back to a year ago when my feelings were very hurt. He said he didn't know that they were messy like that, but he loves me. I mean the world to him and we're still gonna get married. I told him because he went to the party, I knew how these girls were and they were childish. I don't wanna see anything all over the internet. I believe this man, but I feel that his baby's mother is going to try her hardest to hurt me because she sees that I stayed and I'm doing very well for myself. And if I left... I'm going to go ahead and summarize this. So basically, she's just like, her boyfriend is willing to go to counseling um, with her. She's not sure if that's what she, what she wants to do. She says that she has forgiven him, but she still can't get over the fact that, you know, this is her life now. And she wants to know what should she do. Signed, confused, but focused. I love when they get their, their own names. Uh, but anyway... The main thing about your particular letter is that you say that you have forgiven your boyfriend, but there is forgiveness is one thing. Being able to forget is another. And you're not completely over the situation and it's going to take a lot of time. But the main thing in this particular letter for me is that you have to trust your boyfriend. Yes, he, you know, he violated your trust and he cheated, you know, on you with a married woman and had another child. But if you forgive him and if you trust him, you have to find a way to get over this. Um, because they're going to be together. They're, they're going to be events and different things throughout their child's life that they're going to have to get together. It's like, you say you forgive him, but then you don't want him to take pictures with them. Like, Come, you're, you're being a little bit petty. Now, were they booed up? Were they hugging? Were they kissing? No. Posing with the father of her child and her son, that's not, that's not enough to warrant all of this. I think that you say that you forgive him, but you're not really there yet. I'm not even sure if you really have forgiven him. Because forgiving him is accepting that this is the way that it is. You know, I heard Oprah say this once and I feel like it will be etched in my brain forever. Forgiveness is giving up the hope that the past could be any different. Just be, I mean, you said that you're over it, but this is your new life. This child is going to be in his life until the child is, until he leaves this earth. So you're going to have to get over that. He's gonna, There's going to be more birthday parties. There's going to be more first day of schools. There's going to be more, there's going to be more things, family vacations, certain things that he's going to have to be a part of this child's life. And you're going to have to decide if you can accept it and accept her in a way at the same time. Now I completely understand if the pictures that were um pictures that were on Instagram were disrespectful, if it looked like he was still trying to get with her, if they were in some way inappropriate, but a mother and father, whether he's your boyfriend or not, a mother and and father posing with their child shouldn't be a big deal. What do you mean you're not going to see it? Not only are you going to see it in pictures, you're going to see it in person because I, I don't even know why didn't you go to the birthday party? If you're somebody that he's seriously considering marrying and taking that next step with, why why isn't he trying to get you used to, you know, all of that? He should be introducing you to her to let, to let her and everybody else know this is my girl. Yes, this is the mother of my children, but I'm going to marry this woman. Even if he doesn't say that, but I'm just saying, why aren't you being interjected into this. But I think you'll feel a lot more comfortable if you if you play a part in it. If you really want this man, you have to accept everything that comes with him. He now has baggage. He now has a son. You are going to be a stepmother. 
You have to get yourself in that mindset. What irritates me sometimes about some women, and I'm not saying you, I'm just putting this out there, is that you love a man, but you don't want his children. If he has children, you have to accept all of that. If the man has three kids and you're his new wife, you have to accept those three kids. You cannot, I don't even know what kind of decent woman would want a man who turned their back on their kids. You should be happy that he's trying to be involved with his son and that he's trying to have a civil relationship with the child's mother. I don't know, since when is that a turnoff? Since when is that a problem? That somebody can't just have an innocent photo of, don't you think when the child gets older, he may want to see pictures of his parents together? I'm a grown woman and I still have pictures of my parents together and they've remarried other people. Because these are the pictures I have of them together. They can divorce each other, but they could never divorce me. You're still my mom and my dad, no matter who you're with. So that's the, the point that I'm trying to make is you have to make the, de the decision to decide if this is really what you want. Do, are you really cut out to be a stepmother? Uh, can you accept this, you know, this whole idea of him having kind of a, a life or a family outside of you? Not really a family. She's not the part of the family, but I'm just saying the three, the two of them will have to collaborate on different instances for stuff that has to do with the child. Whenever school time rolls around, they'll have to get together and decide, well, how much are we going to spend? How much are you going to give me for school clothes, uh, parent teacher conferences? There's going to be Christmas, Thanksgiving. There's going to be so many instances where you're going to have to deal with the fact that the, the three of them have a bond. And if you can't get over that, then you're going to have to cut your losses and let him go. Because it's selfish of you to, to fold your arms up and have and, and roll in your neck every time you see a picture on Instagram or Facebook or Twitter. Even though he's not with her, they're still connected. And they'll always be connected through their son. Nobody is saying that she is the third wheel and that she is the other woman in your relationship. If you truly trust your man and you know that he's not getting back with her, what's the problem? She doesn't, I mean, the picture on Instagram is not that big of a deal. I don't know why that's, you call it messy and disrespect. What's disrespectful about a picture of a family on Instagram? Unless they were booed up, which you didn't say that they were. Unless it looked inappropriate, unless she was, he was giving her a kiss or something like that, but... That's still the child's mother and father. And I think the child will appreciate the fact that his parents could be civil enough to take pictures with him as a child. You don't think the child's going to know that his parents weren't together, but he still may want the pictures. I think that, and, I, and I'm trying to hurt your feelings or anything like that, and some of you may disagree with me, but I think it's a little bit selfish for you to want to rob a kid of that. If you know your man does not want her, what is the problem with them taking this photo? It's not like they went to, you know, Sears or JCPenney or some kind of photography studio and had like a family portrait where it's like they really look like a family. This is like a candid at a birthday party. The kid's going to going to want to see, oh, this is my very first birthday party. My parents were there. I think you're selfish. Like he has to only pose with the son alone. Like, girl, please. Like, stop. Stop. Um, decide if you if you have what it takes, if you are strong enough to be a stepmother, to step into the situation, which is messy. You, you know, your boyfriend, he was definitely wrong for what he did. He was wrong for cheating on you and, and having a baby outside of your relationship. But if you accept that, you must accept him and you must accept his son. If you don't think you're capable of that, then you need to let him go. And, um, but I think that you'd be missing out, honestly. Because for me, I don't understand. If you love someone, then you love what came from them. And like, if my husband had a daughter, which he doesn't have any children outside of me, but if he did, because I love my husband, I would love that daughter because that's his daughter. Because I love him. I love what came from him. I hope you get what I'm saying. Um, nobody said I got to be cool with the, the baby's mom, extra cool and all this other stuff. Nobody's saying all of that, but you can at least be civil. You can at least be a grown up about it and be responsible enough to know that, okay, she is going to be in his life, but I, but he loves me and he respects me and he knows what my, what the, what the lines are and he will never cross that line again. Now, if you don't trust him, that's another thing. But if you do trust him, then what's the problem? Anyway, I love you and I hope that you, uh, appreciate this advice and everything else. Everybody take the time to comment below if you have something positive to interject. I will see you guys in the next video. Till next time. Don't forget the thumbs up. All right. Later, divas and dudes.
Deuces, honey.